Hello, YouTube. Do you have network equipment or services that you'd like to monitor? Would you like to get alerts when one of these devices or services goes offline? If so, stay tuned. I've got you covered in today's video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and configure the Uptime Kuma add-on and integration to monitor any network connected devices that you'd like. Then, I'm gonna show you how to configure an automation to alert you when one of those services becomes unavailable. Welcome to the channel, my name's Jeff. I'm a longtime IT nerd. With over a quarter century in IT professionally, I've learned a few things along the way about programming, networking, building systems, troubleshooting, and all sorts of other tech skills. Most people don't find that stuff very interesting, so I've made it my mission to take my uninteresting skill set and apply it to smart home tech. My goal is to take the knowledge that I learned from doing that and then show you guys how to accomplish the cool stuff without all the uninteresting stuff. I invite you to join me on my journey to make my house the smartest one in town as I make the dumb stuff smart and the smart stuff easy. First thing we're gonna do is get logged into our home assistant server. Then head on over to add-ons and click the add-on store in the lower right. Search for Uptime Kuma and then click on it. Then click install in the lower left. I like to enable the watchdog to restart the add-on if it crashes and then click start. In the lower right, click open web UI. You'll be presented with this screen to configure your admin account. Go ahead and choose your language and then create a username and a password. Once you complete that, you'll find yourself on the Uptime Kuma dashboard. In the upper left, click Add Network Monitor. This dialog box to add a new monitor is displayed. The monitor I'm gonna configure here is for my Plex server. We're gonna set the monitor type to HTTP and I'm gonna give it a friendly name of Plex. I'm not gonna assign it to a monitor group and the URL is the IP address and port number from my Plex server, followed by WAC web, WAC index.html. Hit save and it'll drop you back on the dashboard where you can see that my Plex server is up. Sweet, we're done, right? Not so fast. We still have several things that we need to do. We need to add the integration so that the monitors are available in Home Assistant. We need to configure a dashboard tile. We need to configure automations. Just stay with me here. The Uptime Kuma integration is available via Hacks. If you don't have Hacks, check the description for a link to a previous video I did where I showed how to install that. In Hacks, click Integrations. Then in the lower right, Click Explore and Download Repositories. Search for Uptime Kuma, and then click on it. In the lower right, click Download. Then click Download again on the pop-up window. Must have been designed by the Department of Redundancy Department. Once that's finished, go ahead and restart Home Assistant to load the Hacks integration. Then head on over to your main Integrations tab and click Add Integration in the lower right. Once again, search for Uptime Kuma, and then click on it. Enter HTTP colon whack whack followed by the IP address of your home assistant server. The port will be 3001, and then enter the username and password that you configured when you first set the add-on up a few minutes ago. Make sure the SSL box at the bottom is unchecked, and then click Submit. Then you'll see this box pop up that says Success, and it'll show you any monitors that you've configured. Here's what the integration looks like once it's configured. If we click the Two Entities link, it'll show us the two sensors that are automatically created for each monitor. Since I only created one, we've only got the two sensors. Now let's head on over to the dashboard and add an uptime card so that we can see historical uptime. If you're unfamiliar with this or you don't have a custom uptime card loaded, I'll leave a link in the description of that too where I made a video that covered that. I'm just gonna create another card right below my internet connectivity monitor that'll show me the past 48 hours of uptime information for my Plex server. On line 19 here, just change that binary sensor to whatever the name of the binary sensor is for the monitor that you want to use for this card. All right, now we're cooking with gas. Now I can see the status of my Plex server at a glance, but I'd really rather get a push notification sent to my phone when it goes down. So here's the automation for that. It's pretty simple. The trigger is the binary sensor for the monitor being off for 30 seconds. Off is disconnected, on is connected. Then the action is to send a push notification to my phone via the companion app telling me that my Plex server is down. Boom, there it is. And there you have it, we're done. I encourage you to play around in the add-on and look at all the different types of services that you can monitor. This is a very flexible tool and I'm super glad that one of you recommended it to me. Thank you. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please go ahead and whack that like button for me. That tells that mystical YouTube algorithm thingy that this video didn't suck and that it should show my pretty thumbnail to more people. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more great content like this and ring the little bell if you'd like to be notified whenever I publish new content. Hey, listen, if you don't want to have to pause the video and rewind and type all this code in by hand, my patrons have access to all my code over on patreon.com 
including periodic copies of my full configuration.yaml, automations.yaml, and dashboard files. Stop in, support the channel, get all sorts of exclusive benefits, such as early access to ad-free videos, behind the scenes content, giveaways, free t-shirts, access to the fast how-to Discord channel where I can help you with problems in real time, downloadable code from each episode, and more. Benefits are available for as little as $3 US per month. Win-win for everybody. I'll leave a link in the description, but I'd also like to take a moment and say a big thank you to all my current patrons. You guys kick ass. I hope you found today's video informative and entertaining, and I hope that I was able to teach you something new. I hope you liked today's shirt, and I look forward to seeing all your smiling faces in the next video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, go automate something, will ya?